If Maggie wants to see what I'm doing, so I'm letting her come up. Okay, go say hi to everybody. She's like, oh, outside. <laughs> okay, now you've taken the camera long enough. <laughs> hi, guys. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my newest video for today, January 14th. It is not a DVD update because I've only got four DVDs and it's not enough to have an update. Uh, and the fact that I'm still waiting for a shitload of DVDs that I've ordered on eBay or Amazon to arrive. Um, first off, guys, I'm sorry that I haven't been online lately or I've been able, I've been able to comment but not on everybody's videos um, because the last week has been pretty bad. I've been battling not only massive fatigue, but uh, Tuesday I got the lovely thing called the stomach flu, which luckily enough I only got for two days. I think for the fact that all I did the last three days was sleep. I swear I must have slept over 50 hours. Cause I would be too tired to even sit here, be on the computer for even 15 minutes. Ugh, Maggie. Um, so, but now I'm feeling better, but like like I said, uh, I slept for a very long time, so I think that has a lot to do with it. So, so I feel, I look tired, but I feel better. Um, and also, um, I probably will not be online any time on Monday. Uh, well, actually, in the afternoon, because at about 12.15, I have to go to Langley Memorial Hospital because I'm having a procedure done which is called um, ga gastrocopy. I think that's how I pronounce it. Yeah. Maggie, I don't want you near my wires. Oh. She thinks she's tough. So, go lay down and watch my movie. <laughs> um, so the gastrocopy that I'm having, that is where they put a fiber optic camera down into my esophagus and into my stomach. This is to check on what the hell's been going on with me for the last year. Um, but it's kind of funny that uh, last month I had one attack um, that only lasted a couple of hours because the last time I ended up going to the hospital, the doctor gave me a prescription that um, scared the hell out of my mother because the first line on the the uh, little booklet we got is warning may cause suicidal thoughts. That's not exactly what a mother wants to see. <laughs> uh, but I found out that this thing I was taking was a weird, it was like for social anxiety and all that shit, and I was like, well, what the fuck do I need that for? Well, I took it, I had to take it two times a day and for a month, and uh, I mean a week Two weeks went by, and I told my parents that I haven't had an attack since being on this medication, but I, even if it makes me feel better from this problem, whatever it is, I hate antidepressant medicine. I hate it. It may work for some people, but I was on Paxil before, and all it did was just make me feel this. Absolutely fucking numb, and I hate antidepressants. So hopefully... This procedure I'm having on Monday will tell us what the hell it is because I really don't want to go back on this medication, even if it works. Um, so, video is not just a life update. I've been thinking about this for a couple of days. Um, as some of you know, through my last videos, I've been saying I was going to have a massive Doctor Who marathon. Which I've been doing right now. I'm on the Patrick Troughton story, The Invasion. Um, but I decided I wanted to also have a movie marathon, but I didn't know what to watch for the first film series of the year. Do I watch Star Trek? Do I watch Star Wars, James Bond, Halloween, Nightmare, Friday, or something like that? And I was looking at my toys that I've got here, because I'm going to show them after I talk about this. I thought, I've watched the movies in different order, I put one on, because I think a lot of us can agree these movies, they don't have to be in any or watched in any order to enjoy them, uh, but I decided it's been like forever since I watched the entire series, from the very first movie to the last one, 
So I decided to start. And you might have tell by that little monster that walked by in the background. I'm... It's Godzilla, of course. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the m movies I have. And uh, and if anybody is expecting me to talk about the Rolling, uh, Roland Emmerich... Roland Emmerich 1998 version, you're in the wrong place, because I do not, to say I do not like a movie is putting it very, very mildly for that. I hated the fucking thing. Um, though I know some people are like, oh, it's not that bad. Well, if you're a Godzilla fan, it was fucking awful. Um, I know even people, people over here had a problem with the plot and the acting, and I was thinking... Well, I'll give Roland, uh, Roland Emmerich this. He kept to that tune, because if any of you have watched these, you know how stupid the plots are, how stupid the acting and the dubbing is, but that's the charm of these movies. What pissed us off is they literally changed the look of our favorite monster, and that pissed off a lot of people, myself included. I watched it once in the theater, once on video, and that was it. I haven't watched it since, because I'm like, that is not my monster. That is not the monster I grew up with. So I'm not... I, ba I basically spent two minutes talking about that, why I won't review it, but that's why. And out of all the DVDs, there's three I cannot talk about, because I haven't got them yet, which are King Kong vs. Godzilla, Destroy All Monsters, and Godzilla Final Wars. But the rest I have got, and... Of course, we are going to start off with the first and the best, which came out in 1954. This DVD well, comes with the original Japanese version and the Raymond Burr movie that a lot of us know, and which I think a lot of us can be grateful for, because that's where a lot of us got our love for this monster from. It, I became a Godzilla fan in 1985. It took me from 1985 to 2006 to watch this. Because 2006 is when this was released over here in this box set. In this really neat box set, the Godzilla collection. And I watched it and I was like, my god, a lot of this stuff really makes sense now. And then it was awesome, it was great. It wasn't like the, the corny movies later on. It was, it was fantastic to be a fan of this for so many years and finally see the original Japanese cut. Um, I have to rewatch the Raymond Burr version because I haven't watched it since I got this. Because every time I want to watch this, I always want to watch the Japanese version. So if none of you have seen this, I like if you're like me, you've seen King of the Monsters but never seen the original one, I recommend this. It is so much fun. It is, it can seem more darker, but I watched this with the commentary and I found out why it was uh, more darker and it can be depressing on a lot of counts. But I mean, it was, it was fun. It was finally great to see this one. Uh, next up was one that I never saw until it came out on DVD because my <laughs> funny thing is Easter when I was a kid. I w Easter eggs weren't the only thing I got. My parents would get me uh, Godzilla movies, all the VHS ones. This was one of them, and I remember watching it at about uh, 40 minutes in. There was no Godzilla. There was something else. So I don't. I think that was a bootleg or something. But uh, got this on DVD. With it came in the box set as well. And uh, that is one of the only Godzilla movies I ever saw, which was Godzilla Raids Again, where it comes, uh, where it's intro to another monster called Angiris, and these two fight. And, and it's funny because later on in a la later couple of movies, I think mostly after Destroy All Monsters, they became friends, basically like allies. Um, another one's fun, and note this: the ones that come in this box set. You have your choice of watching the original Japanese version or the English dub. Um, a lot of the time, I will choose the uh, Japanese version. It, with the exception of one of them that's coming up, I will watch the uh, 
the English dubbed version. Uh, this one is okay. Um, it seemed drawn out. I didn't like the changes they did to Godzilla. Well, it's one change, but they made his eyes all white, and um, I don't like that for some reason. I just think it looks really idiotic. So, and like the only time I really watch this is if I'm doing what I'm doing now, I rewatch the series. It's not really like I give it a six out of ten, but it's like a once in a while type of watch. Uh, next one up, again from the um, the box set with the original and Japanese versions, and that is Mothra vs. Godzilla, or Godzilla vs. The Thing. And this was the intro to Mothra, who, like Godzilla, became a, an extremely well-known and beloved monster, and a monster that also had its own films for a while. This is a fun movie, direct, I think, directed by the guy who brought this to the first one, if I'm right. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure... The director of this one directed the first one. I just let me double check because I don't want to be quoted. I don't want to say that and say, "Oh, that's wrong." Yeah. Um. Um. I think he was. Yep, he directed this one, which is probably why it was a hell of a lot better than Godzilla Race again. And of course, he got the intro of the two. Uh, the little twins that are about this big, who are from Infant Island, but yeah, it's a f it's a fun one. It's one of my favorites. Like, oh yeah, I should have done that. So yeah, I think some of you remember that if you've seen pictures of it. And actually, well, I break stuff. <laughs> and see, that's Angiris close up. He doesn't really have any special power, maybe except for the spikes on his back. But it is a fun monster to watch. And next up uh, is was one of my favorites, and that was Ghidorah of the Three Headed Monster. And this one, this one has a kind of kind of all out monster war. You've got Godzilla, you got King Ghidorah, you got Mothra, and you got Rodan. Like right, right there. The plot's a little out there. Um has to do with, like, a assassination plot, and the girl, the princess, uh, survives it, but she does this thing where she changes her appearance. Like, the first year she's in this beautiful gown, hair all done up, looking so beautiful, and then she's basically dressed in a homeless, homeless man's outfit, claiming she's from Venus. Uh, and actually, the funny thing is, everybody's like, oh, yeah, and yet, what she says ends up happening, so they think of her as a prophet, and some people think she's putting it on to kind of stay under. Well, she wasn't putting it on, especially <laughs> if you watch this. But, uh, you watch, uh, um, you have, like, Godzilla, um, showing up, and Rodan showing up, destroying whatever part of Japan they are. Then King Ghidorah shows up, and all hell breaks loose. And Mothra shows up and trying to talk to Godzilla and Rodan to say, Stop being a bunch of idiots and save the world, blah, blah, blah. To which they don't agree at first until Mothra, this little worm, is going to take on King Ghidorah itself. Ain't happening. <laughs> and that's when Godzilla and Rodan join the fight. I mean, all three of them basically beat the monster. Uh, King Ghidorah is one of Godzilla's... Um, um, I don't, how do I say this? Biggest nemesis. Um, been, fought him in about six movies, if I'm right. And, uh, this, this was the first and definitely not the last. And this is a fun movie. This one, 